Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the 4th of May was a busy day for Microsoft where they rolled out three brand new builds, or four actually if you include the two beta channel builds, to the Insider program of Windows 11. And the beta channel gets two new builds, W261 and W264.1690, which um, was bumped up with the update KB5026447. Now, as I have mentioned previously, the beta channel is to some extent starting to stabilize now because this uh, beta channel and the beta channel builds now are more or less what we are expecting to see roll out in the Moment 3 update, which we are expecting to see roll out near the end of this month. So I would suggest in the fourth week, we could see our Moment 3 update rolling out for Windows 11 22H2, which will bring the third wave of new features to the Windows 11 operating system. So just to have a quick look at what's new in both builds, and I'm just going to use the stable uh, version of Windows 11 for this, as the two um, versions of Windows 11 are very similar at this stage. Now, um, a new feature that's made its way into all of the Insider um, builds for this week, the new Facebook widget. So if you are using Facebook, uh, you can download um, for the beta channel, you can download uh, the Facebook widget and you can add that now as a widget on the widgets board. So that's obviously now making its way into Windows 11 shortly. And then some changes and improvements just to mention these uh, quickly. If we head to our settings and accounts, so that's settings and on the accounts page, this is where you obviously get a lot of information pertaining to your Microsoft account and your OneDrive storage and so on. And Microsoft say they are trying out providing alerts and advising users to add a recovery email address or phone number to their Microsoft account to ensure they never lose access to their account. So that's a new general improvement rolling out for both builds. And then heading to the start menu. Um, I have mentioned this previously, but this does look like it's on its way to the stable version. Um, the recommended um, section uh, in the start menu has now been changed to for you. So recommended is getting a name change to for you. And then there are a couple of fixes that have rolled out because obviously now um, things are stabilizing. So Microsoft trying to fix these bugs before um, these builds and the build does make its way into the stable version um, shortly. And um, they fixed an under underlying crash that was impacting the ability to launch the touch keyboard and or pin entry on the login screen. So that's been fixed and also fixed another two-factor authentication code pattern which wasn't being recognized. And uh, um, they asked for feedback, obviously, um, if you are experiencing that. And then the uh, task manager has received um, seven fixes and improvements, which is quite a lot. So obviously, there's been a couple of issues in the task manager, which Microsoft is trying to address before the Moment 3 update. And because um, we are still in preview, there are a couple of known issues. So obviously, Microsoft will have to try and sort out as many of those known issues before um, this rolls into the stable channel and rolls out as the stable version. So that's more or less what's new in the beta channel for this week. And that's builds 2261 and 2264.1690, soon to become the Moment 3 update, bringing the third wave of new features to Windows 11 22H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.